Hey guys, it's Dwayne again. I've got uh, Gaia here. We're going to show you a couple other tricks that she does. I made a previous video uh, that was her doing just her basics, um, but this one is for anyone who's interested in uh, training your dog to be able to clean up after themselves, she'll do that. Uh, so let's get her to get in your toy first. And let's go with, uh, let's see, Squirrel. She loves this squirrel because it flies really fast when I zing it through the house. So, because she got it, and I'll get her to do the little trick. Um, first, I gotta throw it so she gets happy. Uh, good girl. And in order to get this to be thrown again, you gotta do your favorite for me, which is burger. Put it in the box. Nope. Burger. Sniff that thing over there that you didn't sniff, crazy. What's that right there? Platypus? I helped you with that one. You didn't have to get another one. Good girl! Let's do one more. Minion? Come here. Minion? Give me a hint. It's not in there. Minion? Over here. She's going to look in the entire house if she could. Uh, but sometimes it's right in the pile. Come here. You didn't leave anywhere else. It's right there. Okay. Good girl. We missed the minion, dog. We missed the minion. Because you got me the minion, now I get to throw the score. Okay. Yeah. definitely border collies, aren't that affectionate. So it's hard sometimes because they're so energetic and they have so much fear of missing out uh, that they, they like to be on alert. They like to be on all fours. They like to stay attached to the ground as much as possible by default. Um, so when you, go to, when you go to snuggle with them, they like to be in a position of control, which is typically then facing their paws toward you so they can push off whatever. Uh, if you try to pull them in, they don't like to be uh, controlled. But it took a little while for her to learn. But she now knows what to do whenever I lay down. Oh, sorry. Come, come to the head. When I go to lay down, and she knows it's cuddle time. Good girl. And she knows now to face me um, instead of having her paws towards me. It used to be pretty annoying because she would always post herself uh, against me. But now she knows just what daddy wants. And she deals with it because she doesn't like the cuddling. But she deals with it because she knows after a good cuddle, dad's gonna play with her again. So, <laughs> good girl. And so that goes to show you some of her pattern recognition. She knows uh, some of that, and it's funny because you know they they say about the three hundred word vocabulary for the dogs. Uh, but she picks up on so many different patterns and um, the way in which your tone projects because there's this thing which has a name um, and it sounds like the thing that crawls in the trees and I use the same name with a little bit of a different tone and she picks up on it. So if I say squirrel, you don't say squirrel. <gasps> and then if I yell it out really fast and sometimes she looks at my body language as well um, she knows that it means outside, the, the, or the ones that are, the ones that climb up the tree. So you can watch her the difference between the, the, the two of these. Same word, but watch how I say it. Squirrel. Good girl. Good girl. Oh. Squirrel! Let's go get the squirrel! Let's go get the squirrel! 
So she picked up on the patterns of me running towards the door, or maybe it was me looking towards the door, but definitely said the same word. And she now runs outside and tries to hunt down all the squirrels that exist out there. So I'll show you again how she jumps to it. Squirrel! Look at the squirrel! And she runs crazy. In this case, she goes across. The, she thought I was pointing across, but she doesn't normally cross the street. <laughs> but she thought I got the signal or gave her the signal to go get one across the street. She's very, um, very contained in the yard unless I tell her that one thing. So this time I'm gonna send her off to my right, her left, because I'm gonna point behind the camera. Let's go! And there she goes, off to find whatever, whatever, <laughs> whatever squirrels are out there. Um, and then when she clears it, she comes back. Good girl! Squirrel, go over there! And she's gonna clear the left side. And she'll come back once it's done. No squirrels. Good girl. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Wheel. Get the wheel. Good girl. Oh. All right. Ready? Go get. She can do this all day. Good girl. Stick. Give me the stick. Where's the stick? Good girl! Good girl! Ready? Back. Lay down. Good girl! I don't think we got anything else out here. Oh yeah, there is another word that she's familiar with. Watch how she changes her tone. Good girl. Mole, get that mole. Where's the mole? Get it, get the mole. Dig now, dig, dig, get that mole. Dig, get, get that mole, get that mole. <laughs> uh, good girl. You ready to go inside? Come on, let's go inside. Good girl. And another term that we uh, can sometimes uh, use because sometimes she gets so frantic. Get some water. Get some water. Good girl. Anyway, very sweet dog. They're usually very sweet. Um, very eager to please. Um, I love Border Collies. They're smart, they're intelligent, they pick up on a lot. And uh, that's all they want to do is play. So that's all we typically do. And uh, it's very easy actually to, to, to train a dog as smart as a Border Collie that's so engaged and so eager to please. So I guess if you have any questions, uh, shoot it my way. I'd be happy to help. And, uh, definitely a, a fun dog to enjoy keeping company with. See you guys later.